ANC President Sir Ramaphosa looks to still be enjoying the support of his political home, the ANC. Last week was amongst the President's toughest since assuming the highest office. The Section 89 Independent Panel released the Palapala report which found that the President may have a case to answer. This caused uncertainty about President Ramaphosa's future within the ANC and the country. But this was dealt with when the party met and later decided he must continue with his responsibilities. The meeting also resolved that the party's MPs will vote against the adoption of the report. The president has since taken the report on review. Majority said, no, fine, let's, let's endorse and go with the NEC um, um, recommendation that let him take the, the matter on review. The Palapala saga has highlighted how the party remains divided, with some wanting him gone. A call for the president to step down is not a new phenomenon within the ANC. After firing the then Finance Minister Pravin Gordon and his deputy Mkirisi Jonas, his predecessor, former President Jacob Zuma, found himself out in the cold with his comrades, paying for his blood. The alliance partner led the charge and was later joined by the ANC Veterans League. This time, the incumbent ANC president found himself in hot water, attacked from all sides, including by his predecessors. Earlier in an interview with the SABC, Dr. Mavuso Simang said, the Palapala incident was handled poorly by the president. It was handled extremely badly. I mean, on that score alone, you'd say, gee whiz, you, you can't treat the society like that. The citizenry should, should, should deserve better respect. However, the convener of the Veterans League's national task team, Dr. Snooki Zigilala, says, in as much as they are divided, they have all resolved to support the president in keeping with the instructions of the highest decision-making body of the ANC between national conferences. We should uh, allow the president to take uh, the panel of experts report and review. And um, also that, of course, parliamentarians should also not support the report. The Section 89 independent panel's report will come before parliament next Tuesday with the ANC having instructed its MPs to vote against its adoption, scuppering any chance of a possible impeachment debate. This will also pave the way for President Ramaphosa to go to the ANC's 55th National Conference next Friday unhindered. The first day of the four-day gathering will be dictated to the election of the President and other top five officials. Ntanta Katani. SABC News, Johannesburg.